Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how I made my alien inspired graduation cap. So I started off with this really ugly green color, I don't know why they even picked it, like I'd rather just walk in a black one, but no, I had to get diarrhea green. So the materials you're going to need are sponges, some cotton balls, minty blue paint, light purple, this pastel orangey pink, pastel blue, glitter paint, green, and black. I'm starting off just rubbing all the black paint into my cap. And I just used a cotton ball for this because I didn't want to waste any of those sponge pieces. And rubbing it into the silky material makes it look kind of weird only on camera because once you're done with the galaxy and everything, it looks way better and you can't even tell that it's like darker in some spots. So once your black paint is dry, we're going to go ahead and get started on the galaxy. And then I took the minty blue and just started dabbing it all over. And then I started just changing the colors that just grabbed like a different color sponge and just start dabbing it in. I didn't wait for them to dry because they were going to mix anyway and I didn't really care and it would just made it look better. So just keep doing that so you're happy with the way it looks. So once I'm done, I'm going to take that glitter paint and just dab it all over my cap. Now that my cap is dry, I'm going to go ahead and get started off with the letters. And these are just stencils I drew up real quick of how I kind of wanted them to look. They didn't like come out looking exactly like this. I just needed to know like how big I should make the letters and if they'll all fit on the cap. So I'm taking the green and light blue and mixing them together so I get this really light green. So basically right now I'm just going to draw like the letters out. I'm not going to do anything special to them. I just need to know how much room I have and to make sure that I get them all like in the in the amount of space that I have. I'm using a dotting tool to do this just because it's easier than a paintbrush for me and I have way more control. You just really want to make sure that you could fit all these letters in. Okay, so right here, I lost the footage like in between this gap. I don't know what happened to it. But anyway, all you really need to do is once you have the letters out, just kind of make it thicker and add those little like droopy slime effects. It's not really hard. You just need to go with your letters and kind of just like make slime wherever you want it. But now I'm just going to show you how I outlined it and it's pretty simple. I'm like holding the camera just so I can make sure you guys see all the detail. That's why it's kind of shaky. So now to get started on the alien, I missed the footage of me painting on the alien head, but it's pretty simple. It's just an upside down teardrop shape. And these eyes are really hard to do. Like you want them perfectly symmetrical and the same size and everything. But just start off slow, take it easy, like if you mess up, you could just uh, put green paint over it and try again. And 
and I wanted my alien to be sticking his tongue out, so I'm taking that orangey pinky color and just drawing him a little tongue. Now I'm just going to outline the tongue because you can't really tell what it is right now. <laughs> So once it's dry, you're going to be all done and you can even add in some rhinestones to like bling it out even more. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys liked it and let me know if you decide to try this out once you graduate. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one and I'll see you guys next time.